Hello and welcome to Vlogmas number 8, I think. Welcome to Vlogmas. I am going to make millionaire shortbread because Giovanna Fletcher, my sister-in-law, is now home after winning I'm a Celebrity Series 20 um, and millionaire shortbread is one of her favourite things that I make so I'm going to make some and drop it off on her doorstep tomorrow. And this is something I've been making for years and years and years and years and I get asked about the recipe all the time and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that the recipe is actually just on the back of the condensed milk carnation condensed milk tins. I'm going to make it in a video anyway just so you can see exactly how it's made. The recipe on the back of the condensed milk tins doesn't tell you to make your own shortbread. It tells you to get shortbread biscuits that you then crumble up and melt butter over. But I always prefer making my own shortbread because usually when you crumble up biscuits, even when you melt the butter into it, it just doesn't stay together as well as just making your own shortbread. Um, so I'm just using bbc.co.uk, um, their food website recipe for shortbread, which is 125 grams of butter, 55 grams of caster sugar, and 180 grams of plain flour. So butter in, sugar in, and then you just cream that together until it's creamy. I picked up this today just off of the side of my bed. Like, I hang things over the end of my bed because I'm lazy. Um, and I picked up this thinking that this would be great to wear today only to realise that I dropped food down it a couple days ago when I was last wearing it and didn't realise this until I got to work. So spent most of my day like this, hiding it. I have just started watching Gilmore Girls. Never watched it before. Um, I think I'm nearing the end of the first season, possibly. I think I'm on like episode 15. So you might hear that in the background. Ooh. All you have to do is call my name and I'll be there on the next and there we go there is our shortbread usually i take some tin foil or some baking paper and just lay it into the tin first just because it saves on washing up and trying to get biscuit out of a tin which can sometimes be quite a scary thing. So usually when you're making shortbread biscuits, you shape them in some way. You cut out shapes with a cookie cutter or you cut them with a knife before they go into the oven. With Millionaire Shortbread, you just need one big biscuit, basically. You just need one big slab of shortbread that you'll then layer your caramel and your chocolate over the top of. So usually I just push it into the tray with a spoon, the back of the spoon. I just spend a little while pushing it into the corners of the tray and getting it to a sort of medium thickness. So it ends up looking like that and it's basically just one big slab of biscuit and that will go in the oven. <sighs> My oven's rubbish. It, um, it cooks far too high, so usually I put it on the lowest heat I can possibly put it on. I need to get it checked and reconfigured. But basically that just needs to go in until it looks like it's done until it's like a golden brownie shortbready colour. I'm really good at this tutorial stuff. Okay, so I've moved over to the hob because you need 150 grams of butter into a pan on a low heat, 150 grams of dark brown soft sugar. The only sugar I had is dark muscovado sugar, but I read online that that's a more caramelly type sugar anyway so i'm gonna give that a go and see what happens that goes in as well and then once all that has melted together you add the entire can of condensed milk which i think is 397 grams
My shortbread is out of the oven. It's slightly browner on one side than it is the other, but it's fine, we'll go with it. And I've kind of made this little nest around it out of tin foil, just so that I have somewhere to layer up the caramel and the chocolate without it all spilling over the sides of the tray, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm gonna whack the caramel on, then I'm gonna put that in the fridge and wait for all of that to cool, and then I will melt the chocolate, probably after dinner, and then pour that on. <laughs> 